If you have a current website here and to GoDaddy, it might be a little tricky to delete it, but don't worry because I'm going to show you how to do this process. So first of all, there are a couple of things to understand. The first of all is that there are a lot of products and services that can be deleted right away directly here into GoDaddy. So to do this process, first of all, what I need to do is to sign in directly here into my GoDaddy account. Once you are into GoDaddy, what I need to do, of course, is to have my prerequisites, for example, that all my data is backed up. Second of all, be sure you want to delete the site permanently. And lastly, once you have made this process, let's go into the logged in. After we have logged it in, let's go into the website you wanted to delete under your account and go my products. Inside here, my product, you can see that we can click into the managed button next to the website that you are currently seeing. So let's go locate your website and go for managed. And to manage in the web in the website of quote management, you can just scroll down to the delete the website option. Now click into the lead and we can now follow the prompt to delete your website. Now this is currently different because this one is not appearing here, but into the upper side you should see as in this specific article that into your product page next to the managed WordPress you have the managed all section where you can take out all your website. And for the website you wanted to remove, just choose the actions and go for removed. So your site should be removed and there's no need to cancel the managed WordPress plan, just the actual site. And we can add a site when we're ready to start over. So make sure that you have a current active website directly here into GoDaddy in order to make sure that this one appears right in here. Just in case that there's an actual product that you to have still directly into your GoDaddy doesn't matter what kind of product you do have but you don't want to have this anymore the best solution is to contact directly for GoDaddy with the help center that's the reason why we don't use GoDaddy a lot because GoDaddy is a little bit actually hard to contact them and to help them let's say delete it or to change product support this is something that we actually talked about last year speaking about GoDaddy and actually we don't like it anymore because after a hold uh, let's say two or three heels that we have used to go daddy so far there's a lot of elements that just won't let you delete it right away so let's go here into contact us and let's say that i go for the lead a product or cancel a product so when no matter what question ask you wanted to let's say chat with support or with an agent and they might be uh answering your question right away so this process might be a little bit annoying, this process might be really overwhelming, but still, um, this is how we can actually do this process, and basically, this is the only way of how we can delete our elements. So it says, you're looking to delete a product from your account, let's say, yes, a website. And there you go. This one should be connecting me to an Umin agent right away, so I can now start to doing this process on my own. So there you have it guys this is how we can actually make the deleting process of a website here directly here into godaddy using the live support chat of the godaddy just in case you already find the delete option so uh thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and well hopefully we can all see you next time